So, once again, hello from Moscow. I was trying to visit uh, an exhibition in St. Tichon's University for the Humanities today, a few minutes ago, but I was torn back because even students are not allowed, so everybody is supposed to be isolated, so didn't succeed in visiting this. Right, so I'm now going to leave a partial for another uh, friend, I mean for a friend who could not meet with me because he is also not allowed to meet with somebody who is, who is recent from abroad. So, the reason I decided to record this podcast is just to share with you a few thoughts on this coronavirus situation. Right? I was quite shocked to learn that some of even my students or like some people who I know they are very adamant on uh, so it's a beautiful church right it's I think it's nativity of the mother of God in Putinki can be mistaken so uh, so people are adamant what is orthodox and what is not of course they are but measures that are taken by church authorities are quite uh, standard comparing with the synodal period so and we are in Moscow right now and in 1771 there was uh, ep uh, also epidemic or like plaque, black plaque, black plaque outburst uh, and people here would assemble to pray in front of the icon of the Mother of God. Uh, and the same uh, attitudes as we uh, experience now came into a being and uh, a local the local ruler a ruling hierarch Archbishop Ambrose he prohibited such gatherings and uh, people were very very unhappy because they needed they needed mother of God help in such crucial time so they believe it was done of course so conspiracies because of some uh, ill uh, intents so they ignored they ignored uh, all measures that the state the, the, the city authorities try to introduce to implement and uh, started to there a mob started to search for the archbishop and they finally found him in Donskoy monastery and killed so you kind of see the a punchline is that people should not assemble in times of a disease when disease is spread okay so those are my two cents and stay well talk to you soon bye